Hello and welcome to today's video. Today's video is 31 days of Halloween, day 30, gravestone, place card or photo holder. So I've made a few tombstone gravestones before in my Halloween videos. So I'm doing this one the same way, where I just build up my foil, and then I soften up my gray granite clay, and then I'm just going to get it nice and soft and go ahead and cover my gravestone with the clay. Then I'm going to cut off the excess, I'm going to roll it against the table so it's nice and firm. Then I'm using an X-Acto knife, I'm going to place a paper clip on the top there, and then I'm going to add my year. So. I actually got this idea, I believe, from Nerdy Crafter years ago. She had one of her videos for a photo holder. So I thought this would work to do for a photo holder or if you wanted to do a place card holder for like a Halloween party. So I thought it'd be fun to do a tombstone with the year on it. But when I first carved in the year with the needle tool, it didn't look good. So then I have these little letters I press in and they weren't quite lined up. So I'm trying to, you know, third time's a charm here. So I'm happy with that. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and build up a little more clay around the top of the tombstone, gravestone, whatever you wanna call it, where the paper clip is. And then I'm gonna use my needle tool to add some cracks, make it look a little bit old. And the last thing I wanna do is build up some grass around the front of it. And so if you're doing a Halloween party and you wanna have not personalized, but, you know, unique individual place card holders, you know, for the names, this would be perfect to do this, or you could do some pumpkins or ghosts or just a combination of everything. Also, I think it's fun if you wanted to do something for, like, to hold your Halloween photos, and you could do ones of different years for each photo, you know, depending on what you or your kids dressed up as. So with this done, I'm going to go ahead and bake it according to package instructions, and now we'll take a look at the finished gravestone place card slash photo holder so take a look here you can see how that year has a nice indention and using those like stamps i had kind of gave it a more uniform look kind of maybe maybe looked a little more i want to say professional but you know more realistic to how a gravestone would be so i printed out my name i'll just put it on here so you can kind of see how that looks. So I think this would be, you know, just a fun little thing to have at a Halloween dinner party. But like I said, you could also use it with a photo. So you can see here, this is not from 2019. A little, little bit of back history for you. This is actually me from probably 88 or 89 at Halloween. No, I didn't normally dress like that, even though I wanted to. But this is me back in Halloween of 88 or 89, so about 30 years ago. Crazy. So anyways, be sure to check back tomorrow for my final Halloween video of the year. And remember, never stop creating. Bye. Bye.